Hi everyone, and welcome to the first episode of EXP, the Marist Gaming Experience, the MCTV show dedicated to geeks like you. I'm your host, Travis. And I'm Liz. Today we're going to be talking about Borderlands 2, Guild Wars 2, and Torchlight 2. So, lots of sequels tonight. We're also going to be showing you some previews for some upcoming games. And we're very excited about New York Comic Con, which is coming up in less than two weeks. A few of us from EXP will be there, so we'll have some awesome coverage in our next episode. Well, welcome to EXP. Zombies are back, bitches. The first half of Walking Dead's third season is upon us. That means you'll have all the zombie horror you've been craving since the chaotic ending of last season. And it'll also feature a new major story arc from the comic series. Join Rick Grimes and his band of survivors as they'll head to the prison where they'll meet the governor, played by David Morrissey, and comic fan favorite Michonne, played by Denai Guerrera. Also returning is Merle Dixon, who went missing in the first season and hasn't been seen since. Unfortunately, the show is going to be split up into two mini-seasons, just like season two. The season premieres on October 14th, and the first eight episodes will air weekly from that point. The second eight will start up next spring. The wait is nearly over. So there actually are no clues as to where Merle went at all in the second season. None at all. That's a really long time. I hate when shows leave their fans waiting like that. I know, like, at least for one season, not two. Give a hint, anything. So I heard some hype about a new movie that's coming out. It's called Wreck-It Ralph. Kind of sounds like Bob the Builder's worst nightmare. And he basically is. Wreck-It Ralph is an upcoming Disney movie starring John C. Riley, Sarah Silverman, Jack McBriar, and Jane Lynch. Riley voices Ralph, the villain of an arcade game very similar to Donkey Kong. Fed up with being the bad guy for over 30 years, Ralph wants to prove that he can be the hero. So he leaves his game and travels into other games. Wait, he just leaves the game? Yeah, he's kind of like, GG, no rematch. Then he basically quits his job as the bad guy. However, leaving his game creates this huge problem that threatens the future of the arcade. Ralph abandoned his game. Welcome to Game Central Station. Bad guy coming! Everything changes now. Wreck-It Ralph features numerous cameos from other video game franchises. Some characters you might recognize are Bowser, Sonic the Hedgehog, M. Bison, Zangri from Street Fighter, but there are many more. The sheer number of cameos, which is upwards of 100, makes Wreck-It Ralph look like it'll be the video game equivalent of Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Wreck-It Ralph hits theaters November 2nd. Next up, we're going to talk about one of the biggest wars we've seen yet in the tech community. September 12, 2012, a date that will live in internet infamy. Apple held a press conference to officially reveal the iPhone 5. Cool, right? The iPhone 5 features a faster processor, more RAM, an improved camera, as well as 4G LTE connectivity. But Apple faces fierce competition. Earlier this year, Apple obtained a sales ban on Samsung's flagship Android phone, the Galaxy Nexus. However, this ban was revoked. Now Samsung and HTC seek a similar ban against Apple's patents on the iPhone 5's LTE connectivity. Samsung has also started a campaign for their new Galaxy S3 mocking the iPhone 5. They've adopted a new slogan, it doesn't take a genius, a jab at the Apple store's genius bar. With all that tension aside, a new Nexus device is expected later this year. I'm sure a few of you have heard of Homestuck. You mean that movie with the little blonde kid? Listen. No, no, Liz, that's Home Alone. And that is a piece of cinematic gold. Anyway, Andrew Hussey, creator of the popular webcomic series Homestuck, created a Kickstarter earlier this month to fund a video game based on the series. The Kickstarter rose at record-breaking speeds and is currently at $1.75 million and continues to climb. 
Its original goal was $700,000 and it raised approximately $500,000 on its first day. It's speculated to increase further when PayPal becomes available as a means of payment. Homestuck follows four teenagers to play a reality-bending video game that brings about the apocalypse. So, just like Home Alone 3. Liz, have you even seen Home Alone? Mm. Anyway, the basic premise was inspired by games like The Sims, Spore, and Earthbound. The adventure involves time travel, mystery, and a complex fictional universe and frequent references to pop culture and previous adventures. It's that time again. People are polishing up their cosplays and geeky attire, preparing for New York City Comic Con. For those of you who have heard of it, but may not know what it is, the New York Comic Con is an annual convention dedicated to graphic novels, video games, television shows, books, anime, and manga. Thanks to our resourceful producers, we've been able to get press passes to hopefully interview some of the guests. At this Comic-Con, notables like Carrie Fisher, or Princess Leia from Star Wars, the cast of The Walking Dead, Adam West, and Bruce Campbell, the star of the Evil Dead franchise, will attend, along with a huge number of others. Writers, novelists, and directors will all be in attendance as well. EXP will be attending the convention on October 12th and 13th. So afterwards, look for some interviews from New York City Comic Con. Late last month, ArenaNet released Guild Wars 2, the sequel to the popular MMO Guild Wars. This new MMO features five playable races and eight professions to play as. Guild Wars 2 differs itself from the rest of the MMOs out there. It boasts a personal storyline, a dynamic world, scaled areas, and dungeons, diverse PvP, and more. Arena Nets' Mike O'Brien put it best when he stated, if you love MMOs, you'll want to check out Guild Wars 2. And if you hate MMOs, you will really want to check out Guild Wars 2. We will return after these semi-important messages.